right y'all so we are up and out the door headed to work girl i had to get my episode in the p valley first child let me tell you if they kill off uncle cliff grandma i'm gonna be mad because who the fuck told y'all to kill her off they better not kill her i can't think of a movie that she's died in period in any movie so would this be the first movie she died on they bet they just better not kill her i love her i love her in every every movie she play in i love her and then girl oh my god so i almost teared up a little bit almost i didn't know when uh mercedes had to talk to her daughter about like what she was gonna do okay this is a spoiler alert if you have not seen all of it you don't want to hear it because you haven't seen it because you haven't seen it, then go on on. Because we finna be talking about Uncle Cliff with them. Okay? So, when Mercedes had to, um, you know, just talk to her daughter about, like, her being pregnant. And I'm just like, because as a mother of four daughters, like, I would be devastated. I would, I would be devastated. But, yeah, girl, I'd be devastated. Like, if one of my kids came to me and was like, they was pregnant while they was, what, like, 15 years old? Like, girl. Especially because, like, for me, I got pregnant when I was 15, but I had an abortion. If you ain't been watching that long and you want to know all about that, I ain't going to go into details about it right now. But I do have a video up on it. It's called, like, My Abortion Story or something like that. It's from, it's from what? I posted that video like two years ago. Y'all can go and watch that there. Um, yeah, but girl, like, I would, I would be devastated. But because I know what I know, as a teenager and as a mom, my kids will be on both birth control before they go to high school. When they walk through them high school doors, my children will be on birth control. I ain't telling y'all what y'all got to do with y'all kids. So don't be telling me what I should and should not do with my girls. But what I do know is if I can help prevent teen pregnancy in my household, that is what I'm going to do. Because I got pregnant at 15, 16. I'm going to have been 16 when I got pregnant. My mama got pregnant with me when she was 15. My mama had me at 15. My birthday is in January. My mom's birthday is in March. My mama had me two months before her um as a teenager so if i can help my kids make it at least to graduate high school before they have kids then that's just what i'm gonna do um so yeah like my girls my girls are gonna be on some form of birth control i don't want the pill i don't want the patch i don't want nothing that is going to make them be responsible enough to have to take it um, because even as adults, sometimes we forget, we have other shit going on, whatever, whatever. You forget to take your, your pill, you know? So, yeah. Birth control is definitely going to be, especially because the government is trying to tell us what we can and cannot do with our bodies. It is essential that my children are on some form of birth control. Because I do not want to have to go through that. I don't. It's a scary situation as a kid. It's a scary situation as the mother of the teenager. You know, it's just, I remember, I remember that whole ordeal like it was yesterday. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Today, what's slow? I'm not gonna cap on y'all boys. Uh, let me tell you, <laughs> your favorite cousin may like 
Your favorite cousin made like eighty six dollars. That is the lowest I have ever came out of this club with, bro. Ever. But because that's the lowest I've ever came out of this club with, I cannot complain because if my odds are three great weeks and a slow day, I ain't got you know what I'm saying? I can't say nothing about it. I got Ju over here with me. We on our way somewhere. Oh, no, wait. Mind your business. Cause it's okay. Cause when you mind your business and mind your neck when it's meant for you, <laughs> it's meant for you. When it ain't, it's Period. okay. But Period. you wanna stay focused, stay humble, Period. and understand that this shit come a dime a motherfucking dozen. Period. And I love it when the whole call me broke. Just understand, bitch. <laughs> I know it. I'm broke, broke. I ain't got no bags for real. You feel me? But just understand, bitch. I ain't never lacking. <laughs> I may be lacking, but bitch, I ain't never lacking. Stop playing. And we ain't got no ones. We got straight bills. Period. On the period. Oh, period. Stop playing with me. Let them know. Oh, <laughs> we'll see y'all later. I need to concentrate on driving for 911. Be like, burp, burp. what's going on, y'all? So, I'm in the grocery store and I'm picking up stuff for dinner. And I need to pick up some meat, some breakfast meat. Okay. Um, for for dinner we are doing. It's this thing I kind of like made up. <laughs> if you had it before, let me know. But for me, it's legit just something that I made up one day on some hot shit years ago. And so what I do is I take crab meat, I take shrimp, I cook it um, together, and then I take, uh, I put it over white rice with Hawaiian rolls, and then I do like corn on the cob with it. And it is just like, so good. So if you haven't tried it, you should definitely try it. I'll try to kind of like give y'all like a little step by step a little bit today when I cook it and then you know show it to you and see if you like it all right y'all so I don't got extra extra comfortable you can't really tell but this is the food yeah crab oh and I'm mad as hell because one of my things a crab meat was not in my bag so I guess I left it at Kroger which sucks because I wanted I, I needed all three of those things of crab meat, but it's good. It is not enough. Ain't enough crab meat, is it? Nope. So, but it's all good because this shit's still busting. But um, I'm watching Married at First Sight, y'all. I'm so glad they came out with a new season. I'm all in. I'm going to have to make myself go to bed because. If I don't, I'm gonna be up all night and I have to get up in the morning to go take the kids to go get their shots. Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and we are at work. About to get it in. So. Look at me a cone. I had to wash the end of my wig like from here on down because I didn't have time to wash the whole thing. But I washed the ends because I, it was starting to get a little stiff, child. I was like, uh-uh. But I know it's because I be at work and I be sweating and you know, your skin be oily, you be having lotion on, all that kind of stuff. So I washed it today. And uh, yeah, so much better. Um, let's go to work. I would never talk about nobody that sell their pussy because they didn't know what nobody got going on. Yeah. I know what hard times yeah. hit. Them shit's hit. When they get, they get. Yeah. So you gotta do what you gotta do. I would never judge yeah. no bitch about yeah. what they do, period. Yeah. I might walk around this bitch and I'm talking about my business and I might look like I'm bougie, but I'm really a hood ass bitch and I done done shit too. Yeah. So I can't sit here and talk about nobody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. I never seen you talk about no bitch trying to make pussy. I'm not going to tell you. What is that? What? I'm not going to tell you. 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 I'm not going to tell you.
Yes, I'm gonna stay get this money. I'm gonna stay get this money. That part, so baby, I wouldn't have thought you would start collecting. Exactly. I'm gonna get it the fucking high I get it, bitch. I got the number off. That part. That part. Fuck they turn back. Oh, set it, 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 I stopped at Kroger, Big Lots, and Walmart. So I spent $30 at Kroger. I spent $20 at Big Lots. And I spent $5 at Walmart. So for $55, remember that. And we spent that out of this money. So. One hundred and two fifties, so two hundred twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three hundred. So let's do the fifty five, sixty, sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, three sixty five. So yeah, um, I'm about to get ready to go take a shower and wind down. Cause I am tired. I'm really, really tired. So, yeah, we're off tomorrow though, so that's good. And I got a car coming through.